Hey guys. Hello, Cooper. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? Super yeah. excited to be here today. Awesome. Awesome. We are also doing great. Good. Good. Yeah, well, so, um, glad to where are you currently based? Are you in the U.S. or? Yes, I'm currently based in New York, within the U.S., but traveling quite a bit. How about you guys? Yeah, we are based in Vietnam, and uh, it's super exciting here uh, with like yeah. our community members. I see that there are like a few hundred uh, members are actively uh, participating in our AMA today. It's great to talk to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's great to be here um, and, and chat with all of you guys. There's such an, a kind of exciting kind of crypto and tech scene within Vietnam. And interestingly, a couple of our team members are, are planning on hanging over that way in the coming months. So we'll also keep you updated offline about that as well. Yeah, awesome. I mean, we will definitely discuss the, more about the advancement of ING for the past few months, right? And ING is actually receiving uh, significant engagement from our crypto community here in Vietnam. Uh, it's awesome to talk super, to you directly like this. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Super happy and excited to hear that. Um, you know, our community has been growing like crazy, and, and we have been seeing a ton of unique opportunities within the market. Um, and, and I think that kind of with a lot of the different applications in that, um, as well as, you know, a lot of the new kind of exciting announcements that we have upcoming, you know, the, the community has a lot to expect and be excited for. Yeah, awesome stuff. Awesome. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, because they are, you know, our community members, uh, they are speaking Vietnamese and uh, maybe we just, uh, you know, we, I'll, I'll ask you some questions that, uh, you know, be uh, prepared by our TTT team. And uh, at the end, we will open the floor for our community member uh, who will, you know, directly ask you questions and I might translate uh, you know, from Vietnamese into English uh, from our committee members uh, at the end of our AMA, at the last session, I would say. Perfect. I just want to, I want to just start off by saying I apologize greatly. I'm so sad that I, I can't speak <laughs> Vietnamese, but we'll we'll do my best today. Oh, thank, thanks. I mean, it's very, you know, diplomatic of you, but yeah, I mean, English is an um, international language and we hope that we would have a productive uh, AMA today and we Hope to receive, you know, insight and updates uh, from, you know, uh, from you and from ING. Yeah, yeah, of course, let's do it. Awesome. So, uh, hello, everybody, and um, a warm welcome to everyone who joining us today for this special AMA. Uh, this is a collaboration between ING and TTT. Uh, my name is Kevin, uh, representing TTT, uh, Vietnam's uh, first and leading validator services provider. Uh, today, TTT is uh, proud to have a TVL exceeding 12 million US dollar and a dynamic community of over 100k active members. Uh, we are leading in blockchain validation services uh, within Vietnam market, and we are thrilled uh, at the prospect of collaborating with in Injective. Uh, it is a fastest layer one blockchain for finance, and today we are excited also to have a Cooper with us for our AMA. Cooper is a business development associate at uh, Injective Labs, where he has been since late 2022, I guess. And before that, he led uh, ecosystem strategy at uh, Ratio Finance and co-founded Sungate Group LLC. Uh, Cooper's got a solid background in finance and a keen understanding how tech startup uh, grow. And he's here to share his insight on Injective. Uh, so please uh, give him a warm welcome, everybody. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for, for the awesome intro, Kevin. Yeah. I say it's a really, you know, discuss, discuss a bunch of different things here today. Awesome. I mean, that's the best uh, introduction about you that we, we could, you know, have. So is there anything else that you would like to add uh, before we jump into our AMA? No, I would just add and say that I'm a, a power user of DeFi myself. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, you know, excited to share kind of a lot of the findings of, of you know, what exists for me and, and my journey today as well. Awesome. So let's kick off this, uh, you know, amazing AMA with you and um, the, the, the talk. I mean, we, we would love to make it like, like let's say, um, a living room talk where we just, you know, share and, you know, talk uh, between each other like friends. So we, we, we would love to make it a little bit like, for, like informal, right? So I hope that is uh, fine to you too. 
It's great. Awesome. So, so let's let's start with the basic uh, first. Uh, could you give us an you know kind of easy to understand introduction of injective and and its mission and how exactly does it work? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So injective is, as you noted, kind of like the fastest blockchain built for finance-based applications, and more specifically. Um, it's an open and interoperable layer one blockchain. So, you know, similar to a lot of the layer one blockchains that you guys are, are familiar with, um, likely, you know, but the, the main differentiator is that we're so sector specific to DeFi and, and next generation financial applications. So currently we support several different Web3 modules, mm -hmm. um, similar to those of uh, our exchange module, our Oracle module, our binary options module, um, and many more on the way. Um, and, and these different types of things enable developers to seamlessly spin up applications um, without having to go through writing code end to end for, for uh, essentially there's a, a out of the box kind of white gloved, uh, you know, already built you know, exchange, let's say, or, or binary options module or different form of Web3 module available for uh, developers to leverage and really power their applications. This is incredibly important because on any other chain, this would take six, eight, 12 months to, to write from scratch. Mm -hmm. And we've done that and, and enabled developers to be, you know, powerful enough to do that. In addition, um, it's important to note that Injective is, is custom built with the Cosmos SDK. It utilizes Tendermint consensus. Um, we currently have, you know, lightning fast performance at over 25,000 transactions per second, instant finality, um, as well as very interesting kind of interoperability solutions. Uh, we've announced and we're working on some really cutting edge, I'd say like first in class solutions around VM environments. So that means that we will uh, soon have an, an in EVM as well as an in SVM uh, roll up that will settle down to injective. And this means that now, you know, currently on mainnet, only Cosmos based developers can, can make applications, but in the future, any de de developer within the Cosmos ecosystem from Ethereum or otherwise mm -hmm. will be able to build within the injective ecosystem. So we're super, super excited about that. Um, in addition, we have kind of this chain upgrade uh, slated, you know, for some time in the next two weeks, which is quite exciting. Um, and within that chain upgrade, uh, we're super excited to kind of roll out a lot of new, um, more permissioned and more kind of uh, financial and institutional um, offerings and arrangements and modules. Uh, so definitely be, be keen to, to keep your eye out there. And lastly, mm -hmm. I'd say, you know, we are, are very unique in that we're, you know, a centerpiece within the Cosmos ecosystem. We have several bridge and, and routes and, and compatibility for MetaMask usage on our chain and applications. In addition to having our, our native bridge, um, wormhole bridge axlar bridge and wink wink uh, i'm not sure what time something's going to come out today but another cool partnership coming today um so that's that's a little bit about injective there's there's a lot to get into there um but excited to kind of answer any more specific questions that, that you guys may have yeah awesome stuff awesome stuff i mean we, we will definitely talk about the vm right uh multi vm environment later on uh, in our uh, ama but uh, as you know that we are not, uh, we are the first, actually, we are the first uh, validator for Injective in Vietnam, but we already knew about Injective from the, you know, few years ago from, from the last cycle. And it's so impressive to see the advancement of uh, Injective for the past uh, few months when, you know, the, the, the price is kind of, you know, skyrocketing and, and, and we, our community member get a lot of engagement with the good news from Injective, right? Super glad to hear that. Again, sadly, sadly, uh, you know, on the Injective Lab side of things, I like to, you know, just strictly contribute um, mm -hmm. to to kind of the blockchain in terms of the the tech side of things. But you know, everything else that occurs is is kind of out of my purview or out of my kind of line of sight. But but you know, glad to to hear it and see it. Yes, I mean, we are not only the validator, but uh, myself, we I am a, a user, you know. 
of injective and when I use the, the different D apps on injective ecosystem is so cool and, and, and so fast. And that's the, one of the reasons why we keep, you know, uh, talking and ed educating our community about in injective. <laughs> I love, I love to hear it. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I think when I joined the ecosystem about 14 months ago, mm -hmm. um, there was maybe like two or three dApps. There was like Astroport, which is the, the main AMM, as, as well as a few others. Um, and I think it's super important to note, right, that uh, like there's over 30 dApps live on Tesla or mainnet right now. Nice. Um, we just saw a new dApp, Griffin, go live this week. We have a new and exciting lending protocol going live uh, sometime in the next two weeks. There's NFT collections dropping almost every day. Um, and the list goes on, really. But, you know, I think in terms of staying up to date, we're, you know, we're seeing it in other ecosystems, tons of new applications and airdrops and new interesting opportunities to be a part of the community. I think it's, it's more time now than ever uh, to mm -hmm. definitely stay entrenched and in, in, in to what's up to date. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome to have a, you know, ice platform like this so that you can share with our uh, community members about the recent development of uh, ING and, and, and thanks a lot for, for your insight. Uh, so, so first, uh, now we, we talk about the recent development. So could you, you know, uh, share with us what is the volume upgrade and how, how will it benefit both, you know, everyday user and the builders for, for the ecosystem? Yeah, totally. So the, the Volant upgrade is a huge upgrade that's coming um, and it will greatly benefit many aspects of the chain um, as well as many aspects of, of usage of the chain. Um, and, you know, more specifically, I, I can speak to one of the benefits of the chain upgrade, and that's a, a permission module. Important mm -hmm. to note that a lot of this information is is yet to come out officially, and, and many much of it will in the next one or two weeks. Um, so you know, definitely, you know, don't know how much I can share, but specifically, we'll be rolling out a permission module, which will allow for different forms of financial institutions to actually use our chain out of the box. Um, and what do I mean by that? I mean that most other chains have tons of restrictions and kind of jurisdictional requirements for different aspects of blockchain solutions. Mm -hmm. um, and we've built this permission module, which is one of the, the main and inclusive things surrounding this full and upgrade to essentially allow for an environment where those folks can feel safe and secure um, using our, our chain. So that's kind of, you know, one of the things that I can speak to, there's a mm -hmm. lot of kind of smaller, smaller, um, exciting things that we'll be, you know, potentially including um, reducing gas, gas costs that are already so low down, even potentially lower, um, as well as new unique things such as, you know, pr on every aspect of the DEX trade being totally safe. Uh, and what do I mean by that? We're putting in a lot of new parameters mm -hmm. such that if markets close, that, that users are always remain safe within their on-chain positions. So a couple of things like that. Um, but but definitely stay up to date and and in tune for what's coming next. Nice, awesome. So you know, with the focus on infrastructural improvements, uh, could you like you were you know we were talking before in the beginning of our AMA? Could you you know explain what is uh, in EVM and in SVM are what what are they and their role in uh, injectives emission? Yes, of course. Great question as well. So. You know, essentially for, for folks that are non-technical and I'm non-technical myself, to get a better understanding, Cosmos and specifically Injective, our blockchain is interoperable in uh, and it's smart co contract language. So all the dApps, like what, you know, their language that they're written in, in, in terms of the code, um, is Cosmosm, which is a, a variation of Rust. Um, but specifically... It's a different smart contract and development language than users on Ethereum, or sorry, developers on Ethereum are utilizing. So Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, the list goes on, quote unquote, EVM compatible chains are mostly written in Solidity, right? Mm -hmm. um, and as well as Solana, for instance, is written in Rust, not Cosmosm. So 
when our team on the business side goes out to recruit many of these builders to come to Injective to build and kind of leverage our Web3 modules and so on, we often hear back from many of these teams mm. that that Cosmwasm and, and the rewrite of their code would be significant and that it would take several months. However, if there was a VM environment that was similar to EVM that was inclusive of Injective, they could seamlessly deploy. So we're working with the awesome teams at both Caldera and Eclipse to power these first two rollups, which will just be really a, a start of our VM environment inclusion. Mm-hmm. However, I think it'll cover over kind of you know 95 plus percent of, of the total industry. Um, and within that, you know, on a high level, any developer from Ethereum, Polygon, uh, you name it, any EVM chain or L2 chain will now be able to seamlessly deploy applications within the injective ecosystem. So that's super exciting for us because it opens our doors immensely to the amount of developer talent that can come on board. Awesome. I mean, it's great to hear about, you know, those uh, developments uh, and then definitely multi VM environment important, right? And it will definitely kind of, you know, benefit the overall eject injective ecosystem, I guess. <clears throat> yes, yes. I mean, I couldn't be any more excited about it. It's just like, the amount of dApps that'll be able to join our ecosystem now is, is kind of exponentialized. So expect to see a ton mm-hmm. of new and exciting um, uh, announcements as it re- you know relates to Ion EVM and, and otherwise. We're quite excited ourselves. Awesome. Yeah. So now let you know switch gears to the recent development. I mean, recent uh, product releases, right? So, so what are the, we, we heard a lot and we see the, you know, twist about Ninja Wallet. So what are the key advantages of using Ninja Wallet? Yeah, great question. Great question. So the key advantages of using Ninja Wallet um, is really such that, you know, it's our first native ecosystem injective wallet. Um, mm-hmm. So th- their team is working in directly, and I think that team is actually based out of Vietnam. Actually, I know they are. Um, so the Ninja Wallet team is, is based out of Vietnam. They're a fantastic team to work with. Um, and they are working on specific solutions that make it super easy to interoperate within the injective ecosystem. So right now, we have full support for MetaMask, which is awesome for us. However, with you know, you can come over to Injective, sign with your MetaMask wallet, open your account, trade on Helix, etc. However, you can't do things like see how many tokens are in your wallet on chain on Injective in your MetaMask. You'll be able to do this with Ninji Wallet. You'll be able to see your NFTs with Ninji Wallet. You, it's really a, a, a first in class Injective ecosystem tool. Um, for users to kind of you know see and, and feel and understand what kind of you know tokens they're holding or NFTs they're holding, et cetera. And then with that, I know the Ninji Wallet team is super excited to be building in all different types of integrations with the apps, relationships with the apps. You know, maybe there's some cool stuff coming from them in the future. Who knows? Great. It's great to hear that actually the uh, Ninja Wallet uh, developers are, are from Vietnam. Uh, are they Vietnamese team or? Yeah. Or yes. Are... Yes, they are. Vietnamese team uh, in total. They're they're fantastic team to, to work with as well. Awesome. I mean, Vietnam is a really, you know, hot uh, crypto market now. And um, we could also share with you that we are currently ranked number third uh, for the crypto, you know, uh, adoption index, uh, the latest one, uh, 2023. So definitely, uh, I mean, uh, oh, we hope- awesome. I'd love to hear more and, and not to derail the conversation, but this is something that we're working on on the injective side of things. Have you guys seen many, a, a lot of real world use cases within kind of the, the crypto side of things in Vietnam? Yeah, we, we see, uh, that's why we are ranked number third in the like uh, crypto adoption index, right? And we see more and more user and, and, and uh, kind of uh, um, uh, investor are 
are actually changing from the traditional um, uh, investing uh, traditional market uh, to invest in the crypto market. And uh, we see that actually also another report from Binance uh, showing that like 22% of our total population are actually uh, uh, owning cryptocurrency. So it accounts for almost like 17 million people in Vietnam are investing in cryptocurrency. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so we are we are having a hot market, like also talented developers and really like active community. So we hope that TTT also could, you know, contribute to the uh, development and the, the user expansion of uh, injective in Vietnam. Yep. Oh, sorry, I keep not unmuting myself. Yeah, no, 100%. We're, we're excited. If there's any developers listening here today, I mean, we have this Google, Google Cloud Illuminate Hackathon has been kind of our most recent, but... We are really supporting developers, I'd say, more than any other layer one blockchain. Um, so if any developers are out there, please reach out directly, reach out to our Ai tắt tiếng? Anh Kim ơi. Bị lỗi tắt miếng, tắt mít của bên thằng Scoot rồi. Hey. Yeah, we are still here. Are you hearing me? Oh. Yeah, sorry for that. Thing. Yes, yes, I can hear you. I just got muted. Um, all good. Yeah, so let let you know keep talking and because the the growth of uh, injective is really Im impressive for the past few months and for the last quarter. So uh, can you now share and and tell us more about the like other cool D apps that has been built on the top of injective? Yeah, totally. So so the the one that I'd say if we have any user, users here to go check out would be helixapp.com and we'd mm -hmm. love to hear any feedback that anyone has here today. Um, but we've built helixapp.com as kind of the proof of product internally at Injective Labs. So it's a DEX where you can go trade perps, spot, um, as well as take a look at a bunch of new really cool features such as Helix trading guilds, uh, Helix LP rewards, Helix trading bots, etc. So definitely recommend everybody to go take part in everything that's happening on helixapp.com. Mm -hmm. um, as well as like follow us on Twitter, stay up to date. We have a bunch of new listings coming, which are quite exciting. Um, so that's thing one. Thing two is that like we're all, we've also been working on Mito, um, short for mitochondria. Um, you can go kind of follow the Mito Phi Twitter or also hop over to Mito.Phi um, and take a look at that on Testnet. We have a lot of very exciting uh, dApps coming into play there um, mm. that'll be utilizing our launch pad as well as being able to spin up their first markets that people will be able to access their token on Injective. Um, so definitely go go take a look there as well. Oh, Definitely. Uh, so we also heard about the context of the uh, Helix trading competition. Could you please share with us a little bit more about that, the, the trading competition on uh, Helix? Yeah, of course. So we have uh, several different trading competitions and, and a new and exciting one upcoming soon. Uh, but currently you can utilize and take part in things like trade and earn. So trade and earn is a fully volume based uh, kind of you know, competition that we have ongoing where, you know, different markets have multipliers and it's usually newly listed markets and you can earn a ton of rewards uh, just for trading those markets. In addition, I think the biggest rewards have been in both traders guilds. So essentially traders guilds allow you to join a guild and have your volume contribute to kind of a broader number. Um, mm -hmm. And you and all your friends together um, can essentially win a, a certain amount of, you know, rewards or incentives for, for taking part. Lastly, probably the most interesting one is LP rewards. 
So we have these uh, essentially uh, you deposit into a, a vault. The vault runs a strategy, usually kind of providing liquidity towards the market. And mm. based on how much volume that those bots do, you earn a certain set of rewards as well. Awesome. So for our audience uh, and community member in Vietnam, for the beginners, uh, how can they, you know, participate in that uh, competition? Like they have to access the uh, Helix you know, website and platform so that they could, you know, start uh, trading. Yeah, it's just as easy as going over to helixapp.com mm -hmm. and taking a look at the rewards tab. And it's pretty self-explanatory from there. But definitely go over to helixapp.com and take a look at our, our rewards tab. Uh, we're giving out tons of rewards this month. Yeah, awesome. And and because we we are you know a uh, strong believer in uh, uh, DeFi, right? And um, our you know P2P exchange volume also ranks number second worldwide for the you know the the, the latest report from uh, um, crypto adoption index. So I mean trading is also kind of um, show the huge uh, interest of our. A community member and um, you guys might you know head to helix uh, trading uh, competition to you know uh, find more more find out more about that and um, right now you know the, the partnership is always important for the development of any project and we also heard about the injectives uh, partnership with uh, true Placen and ondo right and the concept of uh, tokenized treasury so could you please say, uh, share with us about that Yeah, of course. Super exciting ones. Um, so yeah, so we've announced a partnership with Ondo Finance, several others coming soon. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. Um, but essentially, for the first time, a user on this call could take USDT and swap into USDY. Um, and USDY is a essentially, you know, and, and head over to Ondo to find the exact specifics on this, uh, because they're the ones offering the product. Um, mm. they're just using our infrastructure to some extent, but you can now on Helix app swap in like any user on this call can swap into USDY and USDY can earn them US treasury yields. Um, so US treasury yields are now offered on injective and, and that's quite interesting for anybody listening here today who doesn't have access within Vietnam to those types of things. So. If you're interested in U.S. Treasuries, definitely, definitely kind of pop over or learn more about USDY. And on helixapp.com, you can swap right into it with USDT. I see. I see. It's awesome stuff. So uh, now let's look at a broader picture, right? So what are strategies that uh, Injective uh, are having to expand your, you know, uh, you know, uh, expand to different regions? I would say particularly in Vietnam. And what does a Vietnamese uh, market look like to you and to Injective? And yeah, could you share with us a little bit more about that? Yeah, of course, of course. Vietnam is one of the most important uh, kind of, you know, markets for us to be keying in on as it relates to everything that I think that you've noted thus far. Um, specifically, like the amount of users trading cryptocurrency there, the amount of users that are, are interested and applicable mm -hmm. um, to kind of take part and a lot of the different initiatives that we have ongoing, such as trading on DEXs or using DApps or being familiar with the ecosystem. So, you know, we're excited to work with the TTT Capital team on a host of initiatives in, in the coming months, um, mm -hmm. from validating to several other things to ensure that the Vietnamese community is aware of what we're doing and, and can be built into it as much as possible. Yeah. So, I mean, we are eager to support your expansion in in Vietnam market. And um, so now let's, you know, again, switch uh, gear a bit to, you know, talk about, about the ING token, because we believe that it's also important to know about the tokenomics and the, the development of the uh, token itself. And uh, uh, we also heard about the introduction of ING 2.0. So what are the primary use cases for ING 2.0? And could you please explain more about this upgrade? And also uh, our committee member uh, quite, you know, care about the burning mechanism that involved uh, for ING 2.0. So could you please say with us more about it? Of course, super excited too. So um, currently the way Injective is, is one of the few value accrual based tokens is that we have the central limit order book. 
And any volume that's transacted through the central limit order book, there is a fee associated with that. And that fee, while it's super low for a retail user for a high, like high volume and, and we're reaching over, like we're, we're getting close to on average a billion dollars a month right now in terms of trading volume, the fee associated with that is then kicked to the chain. Currently, it's about six bips on the taker side based on your VIP fee tier status. That that fee is kicked to the chain and to our burn mechanism where mm-hmm. anyone can go and bid at the end of an epic to buy that pot of rewards. And why is that exciting? That's exciting because essentially there is you know a, a generation of quote unquote fees from the protocol that are kicked back and burned every epic. Um, and, and this number has been getting quite sizable in the past as well. So you can see this on the injective hub. Um, so that all, all already existed. So what did injective 2.0 really do for that? Injective 2.0, you know, that was just the order book. It's been quite interesting that we've learned that now we see things like Talus Launch, which is the NFT marketplace, and mm-hmm. and many other applications who don't necessarily work directly within the the injective burn mechanism. Now all DApps on Injective can integrate an injective burn module that will allow them to uh, distribute a portion of their fees towards the INJ burn mechanism. Um, and this is absolutely huge. So all these different dApps will be building in functionality such that they can burn tokens for the first time um, and mm. contribute to the burn mechanism. So that's what we're super excited about and just having that burn grow as dApps grow and developers grow. I see. I mean, thanks a lot for this uh, comprehensive insight and, and that, you know, goes back to the basic, you know, supply and demand, you know, economic 101, right? I mean, the more you guys burn the ING token and the, the better chance of having the increase in the price of ING and, and that's really important for our investors as well. But we are not only talking about the, the price, but we, when we take a you know, bigger look at the, the, the whole ecosystem, we do see the huge potential of ING for the next you know, uh, cycle. Yeah, we, 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 I mean, we see that as well. Like we're, we're super excited about it as well. And, you know, there's so many exciting developments and, and kind of updates coming in the coming months to stay aware of. So definitely do. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. So now we might, you know, just open the floor for our audience who, you know, might ask you question directly and uh, allow the, the, the direct uh, interaction between you and our committee members. Um, uh, so now I, I could, you know, switch uh, into Vietnamese to talk to our community members. So please, you know, uh, wait for a bit. Please. Yeah, nice. Uh, uh, các bạn, uh, bây giờ các bạn có những uh, câu hỏi nào có thể mời nhờ Đức ha? Nhờ Đức các bạn có thể là hỏi trực tiếp nè. Đức mở mic đâu. Đức, Đức mở mic cho các bạn đây hoặc là các bạn... Ai muốn hỏi thể... lên mic nha. Ai muốn hỏi trực tiếp à, lên mic đi rồi anh Kim để dịch lại. Ok. Anh em đóng hỏi energy á, anh em lên mít nha, xin lên mít nha. Hồi nãy thấy xin mít nhiều, sao giờ ít với tao. Hồi nãy có thằng, có ông Tây Long xin mít mà không thấy ông đi đâu tiêu này. Anh thấy ở cái chỗ request này nè, có mấy cái này. Đúng không? Có, anh có thấy việc, anh là người việc được. Ừ, đúng rồi, anh thấy rồi. Có thuận capital nhưng không biết không. Nhưng mà chắc là nick ấy á. Rồi, có bạn nào giơ tay lại đi. Để mình mời các bạn lên hỏi luôn. Các bạn cứ coi tự nhiên thôi, tại vì đây mình có nói rồi. À, một cái buổi giao lưu rất rất là uh, không có gì là 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 quan trọng theo kiểu như là họp hay là gì cả mà chỉ là một cái buổi mà hai bên nói chuyện giao lưu một cách rất là tự nhiên thì các bạn có thể lên trực tiếp hỏi anh em cứ lên nói tiếng việt rồi anh khi mới dịch lại cho mọi người nha không gì phải lăng tăng đâu rồi ok để mình thử uh, mời bạn uh, thấy bạn rồi Henry đi Henry có ở đây không hoặc là thuận này Rồi không thì bất kỳ một cái thành viên nào cũng có thể đặt một câu hỏi Đức cũng có thể đặt câu hỏi gì đó để cho uh, cho Cooper ở đây Em thấy có người đặt câu hỏi nè uh, Các bạn lên, em việc đó Có request 
Ok, các bạn cứ hỏi tự nhiên thôi. Các bạn cứ đặt câu hỏi nha, mình sẽ duyệt hết. Rồi anh em nào đặt câu hỏi luôn mà, đặt câu hỏi thì anh em cứ lên mic nha, mở tay lên mic mình sẽ duyệt hết. Ok. Nếu mà không có bạn nào câu hỏi thì có thể là chúng ta kết thúc cái em ấy cũng được, không không có vấn gì gì quan trọng. Có thể là sau cái buổi này thì bọn mình sẽ tổng kết lại những cái cập nhật liên quan đến ENG mà được Cooper vừa mới chia sẻ với chúng ta, những cái như là Volan upgrade này hay là ENG 2.0 này hoặc là Ninja Wallet này. Đó thì những cái những cái đó thì chúng ta bọn mình sẽ làm một cái bài tổng kết để 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 chia sẻ những cái thông tin bởi vì bọn mình tin vào cái tiềm năng của dự án ENG này cho cái mùa mùa tiếp theo thì uh, Đức nghĩ thế nào nếu mà anh nói luôn là chúng ta có thể kết thúc cái ENG ở đây bởi vì là chưa có những cái bạn không có ai hỏi gì mình kết thúc anh OK không ai hỏi thôi OK có không có một anh hỏi là anh Hưng biết hỏi không ta có anh Hưng hỏi một câu là kết thúc anh Hưng có hỏi gì không anh Hưng có một bạn nào hỏi hello Đức nghĩ là để một hello Kevin hello Cooper mình uh, chắc mình hỏi luôn một câu vì là chắc là mọi người cũng có thể hỏi mà hỏi tức là với những tất cả những gì mà anh Cooper anh vừa trình bày đấy thì có dự án rất là triển vọng thì uh, theo với một quan điểm của một nhà đầu tư thì uh, bây giờ có phải là thời điểm tốt để đầu tư vậy uh, ENT không? Ok thì cái câu này mình sẽ mình sẽ cũng sẽ dịch lại thôi nhưng mà nhưng mà ok để mình dịch lại uh, hello Cooper one of our committee member Uh, is uh, asking about the because what we have uh, been sharing with our committee is uh, showing that ING has a huge potential for the upcoming boom cycle. But uh, he's asking if it is the right, uh, you know, moment to invest to start uh, investing into ING. If you could share your opinion about that, of course, it's not financial advice. <clears throat> yeah, of course. I mean, to be totally honest with you guys, right? Like, I'm just gonna, you know. I work at Injective Labs, and for a host of reasons, I cannot speak of you know anything as it relates to token price, as it relates to investing in in INJ or those tokens. I, I'm so sad about that, and I wish I could. What I can say is that the team is working harder than ever. The mm-hmm. team is you know super excited for what is to come in 2024, um, and and you know. I, from my personal purview and personal perspective, the team is is working harder. Um, you know, and, and I think you know, going to be one of the, the the leading, you know, L1 solutions here by the end of of next year. Um, that's kind of my personal purview. But again, right, that that that's all I can kind of say there. I see. I mean, for also in my opinion, there's many uh, variables to you know. Uh, to decide the success of a project, and uh, we we could not say for now, but it's clear clear for us that uh, Injective has a really professional team, and when when we are working with you guys, we do see the professionalism and the, the hardworking team like you were you know, sharing with us, and definitely ING we should keep an eye on uh, so that we can you know uh, see more update and more, and also we see a lot of innovation coming from uh, ING bringing to the space, so definitely we should keep an an eye on your project. And um, I guess that is the quick we could wrap up yeah. our inside. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. I, I would just say in general, right? Mm-hmm. Um, while I can't speak to any form of the token price at all, I can speak to the development within the ecosystem. And the development within the ecosystem is just about to kind of explode. Um, so that's kind of, you know, my, my purview and thoughts. Right. I mean, it's great to see the hardworking team, the, the ecosystem is exploding and uh, the direct interaction with the team member directly from Injective Labs like you, who, you know, coming and uh, sharing with us and spending time with us. And uh, that's really uh, wonderful to have a, a conversation with you today. And uh, I guess that we can wrap up this insightful session. And uh, we, again, once again, we, we would like to extend our appreciation to you, Cooper, for sharing your valuable time and knowledge with us and uh, also thank you for our audience who you know asking questions and uh, participate into our AMA today 
And um, yeah, like I was saying, keep an eye on our channel for more updates and for, for the future AMA events. And uh, um, is there anything uh, you want to share with our uh, audience uh, before we wrap up the session today? No, just take a look into either, I guess you could find it through my Twitter or other Twitters, but mm -hmm. like follow the objective Twitter. Um, stay up to date. We have a ton of exciting ecosystem development coming. We have a ton of exciting things coming towards Vietnam specifically um, and a ton of opportunities to take part in the community, whether that's on the user or developer side. Um, so please stay tuned and, and join our ambassador program, join our discord, stay up to date on Twitter. And, and you know, there's a lot of opportunities to make, you know, mm -hmm. some, some, some good uh, some good things happen within the injective ecosystem for yourself. So stay tuned. And uh, it's a pleasure chatting with you guys. Thank you so much for having me on. I look forward to really working closely with the TTT capital team moving forward. Yeah, thank you. And uh, have a wonderful day. We look forward to seeing you uh, at our next uh, AMAs in the you know, upcoming uh, future. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So good time for now. Awesome. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.